Certified Agile Service Manager, also known as CASM. Jane, the target audience for the course, why an individual would be uh, interested in going through the course, why it's interesting for an enterprise to invest in the course, and also as the course and the author of the Agile Service Management Guide, some additional background in terms of the genesis of the book and the course. So Certified Agile Service Manager is a nod to the ITIL Service Manager of, of long past. So many organizations have invested significantly in IT service management or ITIL programs. And so, and have gained significant benefit from that. But in truth, the last time that ITIL was updated was really 2007 with a refresh in 2011. And it was written primarily for a waterfall environment. So when we started to design our processes as command and control based on regular uh, re regulatory requirements and other needs, uh, the, the processes were designed to be very linear. And so Agile Service Management does, it, it was never intended to uh, supersede ITIL or speak to a different way of looking at change management or incident management, but it is a different approach to designing and improving process from an Agile perspective. It helps to instill Agile thinking into IT service management, and in many cases is the bridge between individuals and organizations that have invested in IT service management and are looking to grow further towards a DevOps approach. So it, it speaks to control without controlling. It looks at an incremental approach to designing software. It looks at the importance of being Agile over doing Agile. It also bridges, I think, in many ways the vocabulary between software developers who are in an agile environment and IT service management uh, practitioners that are looking to be able to go faster, to be more agile, and to, to match their processes to the faster flow of, of DevOps. Many of our partners are using CASM as that bridge, bringing it to the IT service management uh, teams within an organization. Uh, some are even bringing it to their development teams to look at ways to overcome some of the constraints that old-fashioned IT service management processes might have brought. It is for everyone. It, there is no prerequisite for it, um, but it certainly does look to uh, modernize service management as an approach. Thank you.